I gotta get the two panels together to make 78. First, I gotta cut both of these MDF pieces on the miter saw. thinking we should put the legs now and then we'll work our way bottom going up to the top. So I think I'm gonna use this whole thing. These are gonna be the feet for the for the pallet. And I just need it to be 27 wide for the pallet jack to go through. Show some pilot holes. Now I think we got the base figured out and we got enough, at least 27 inches on each side, which is nice. We're gonna get this on the ground and build it from bottom up. that maybe so end up being like this yep 275s how much to cut off. So I'm gonna cut four of the ends with the joiner just to make it flush on the panel. got the, the frame down. Now I just gotta get uh, the insulation sheets. I just gotta cut them to size. inch wiggle room so I'll just do what I can to tighten it up a little bit. Looks good. 
I used a lot of uh, leftover insulation sheets um, that were just hanging around, so it was nice to use them. I'm pretty happy with it. I don't think it's gonna budge whatsoever. Um, just gotta get that top piece on and we're good to go. That works out. Ideally, I would have done the top piece um, when I did the bottom piece, but I completely forgot. What we're gonna do is I'm going to drill all the ends around on the plywood, and then I'm gonna put that, that um, thin sheet on top and then drill it in, it's good to go. All right, so it took about, sorry, 11, 11, 12, one, two, four hours, and finally done. This is so they don't bang it around too much. If they bang it around, you get insurance. One last one, right here, right here. I don't hear the shaker. Yeah, that's pretty tough. That's a cool color. Oh, that's pretty cool. Too hot. All right, cool. Now we're gonna load it up. It looks good to me. We finally got it on the trailer. That's how you do a, a freight shipping. We got a bunch of videos coming up. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for uh, viewing and I'll catch you guys next time.